Hello viewers and welcome back to the track where today we have the first race in our throwback series featuring Spin Master Monster Jam series number one versus series number two trucks. What do you say we take a look at the very first series Spin Master ever put out in 2019 starting with Grave Digger, then we have Wonder Woman, Megalodon, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, El Toro Loco, followed by Pirate's Curse. Then we have the always awesome Bounty Hunter, followed by Max D to round out this series number one team. These are some great looking trucks for the first series that was ever released. These trucks are awesome and have done great here in the past races. Which one of these trucks do you think is your favorite? And now that we've taken a quick look at the Spin Master Monster Jam Series number one, we're gonna head back on over to the pit area and meet the second lineup Spin Master ever released. This is a great looking lineup too. What do you say we meet them? We have Spin Master Monster Jam Series number two, starting with Golden Max D. Then we have the beautiful Pink Scarlet Bandit, followed by Hurricane Force. Then the first version of Son of a Digger, followed by Monster Mutt Rottweiler. King Crunch, one of our favorites, Green Jester, and rounding out this series, we have the first appearance of Nitro Neon in Grave Digger. What do you think? Aren't these some great looking trucks for some of the first series to ever be released? Which of these 16 trucks is your favorite and which one do you think will win here today? Before we find out, let's take a look at today's racing bracket and how the races will lay out. And heading up first to the gates for today's race, we will have Max D racing Golden Max D. Bounty Hunter will be taking on Scarlet Bandit. Pirate's Curse will be facing Hurricane Force. El Toro Loco will line up against Son of a Digger. Monster Mutt Dalmatian will take on Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Megalodon will be facing King Crunch. Wonder Woman will be taking on Jester. And finally, we will have Grave Digger taking on Nitro Neon Grave Digger. There are some awesome looking matchups here in this throwback race. What do you say we head up to the gates to get the races started? And up first for this race, we have Max T in the red lane, taking on the golden Max T in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Both trucks fast out of the gate, coming down the ramp. Original Max T starting to pull away. Golden Max T heads to the center, hits the center obstacle, slows up. Wow, did you see that jump from the original Max D? That was huge up over that back obstacle, and it's regular Max D taking the win as Golden gets stuck about half track. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out. Both of these Max D's are super fast coming down the ramp. They both want into that second round, but Golden starts heading to the center. It's that center obstacle slows up. Original Silver with a huge jump over the obstacle for the win. That's Series 2. Golden Max D is a great looking truck, but here in the first round, it's a Series number 1 Silver Max D putting down an extremely fast run, taking the win and moving on into that second round. What a race by that truck. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. And up next, we have the Family Feud with Bounty Hunter in the red lane, taking on Scarlet Bandit in the green lane. Here we go. Green flag, gate drops, and we're racing. Wheel to wheel, coming down the ramp into that first jump. Scarlet Bandit has problems, goes way off to the side. Bounty Hunter with a huge jump across the back obstacle to the line first. Wow. Scarlet Bandit had problems over there in that green lane, went over into the wall and had a big crash. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out again. Both of these team trucks so fast and smooth coming down into the ramp, but Scarlet Bandit has problems on the jump, goes way wide. Watch Bounty Hunter, huge jump off the buses for the win, wow. Well, it's always great to see both of these trucks at any event, including here at our Dark Cast Racing. And in today's event, it is Bounty Hunter taking the win, moving on into the next round. What a run from that truck. We'll see it later. But now let's head back up to the gates for the next round because they're ready to go. And for this next matchup, we have Pirate's Curse racing out of the red lane, taking on Hurricane Force in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag and we're off. Out of the gate, the wheel to wheel, coming down into that first jump. Oh, the second time in a row, the green lane has problems, goes off to the side and crashes. Pirate's Curse with a huge jump all the way to the end of the track, almost goes over the wall, ends up in a nose wheelie. What a run. That was wild. Wonder what happened to Hurricane Force. Let's take another look. As the gate drops, watch that green lane over there on the far side. Hurricane Force coming down into the jump. Can't hold this straight. Goes off to the side. Pirates Curse with a huge jump to take the win. Well, viewers, that's three runs in a row. The green lane has had problems, and the red lane's been extremely fast. And in that one, it's Pirates Curse in a nose wheelie at the end, taking the win. What a run with a little freestyle. Gotta love it. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next race. And for this matchup, we have El Toro Loco in the red lane 
taking on Son of a Digger in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag and we're racing. This time Son of a Digger has a huge hole shot out of the gate. Otoro will go with problems in the red lane. Son of a Digger smooth over the back obstacle, flipping across the line for the win. Wow. It's about time the green lane had a good run. Let's take another look from the track cam and see what happened to El Toro Loco in that red lane. Coming out of the gate, watch El Toro Loco starts to bounce around that divider a little bit. Coming into the jump, goes sideways, can't hold the landing. Son of a digger, smooth all the way to the line. What a run. These die-cast monster trucks are so unpredictable no matter which lane they're in. And that one, son of a digger, had an awesome run in the green lane and we'll move on into the next round. What a race by that truck. We'll see it later. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next matchup. And up next, we have a Monster Mutt Dog fight with Dalmatian in the red lane, taking on Rottweiler in the green lane. Let's go racing. And they're off. Rottweiler is so fast coming down the green lane. But look at that jump from Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Huge air. Which one will it be? It is Monster Mutt Rottweiler still to the line first as they get together after the finish line. That was such a fast run by Rottweiler and huge jump by Dalmatian. Let's take another look at both of them. As the gate drops, both these trucks so fast coming down the ramp. Rottweiler's pulling ahead, but watch his jump from Dalmatian almost all the way to the bottom. Starts to catch up, but Rottweiler takes the win. What a great run by both of these trucks. I do believe it was a whole shot victory by Monster Mutt Rottweiler taking the win here, moving on into the second round of racing. But got to give props to Dalmatian too for that run. Let's head back up to the gate, see what the next pair has in store. And for this pair, we have Megalodon racing out of the red lane taking on King Crunch in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Both trucks so fast coming out of the gate. Wheel to wheel coming down the ramp into that first jump. Megalodon with a huge jump. Starts to pull away. Smooth over the back obstacle all the way to the end of the track. Wow, what a run by that truck. King Crunch had some problems on the landing. Kind of got hung up on the center obstacle, but made it to the line. Let's take another look. Watch Megalodon coming down the ramp in this red lane. That truck is so fast. It's a huge jump, smooth landing. King Crunch slower of the buses. Megalodon takes the win. What a race. That red, white, and blue King Crunch sure is a great looking truck. Too bad it's not moving on because in this one, it's Megalodon taking the win, moving into second round. What a run by that truck all the way to the end of the track. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair because they're waiting for us. And here we go with Series 1, Wonder Woman in the red lane, taking on Series 2, Green Jester in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Jester with a huge hole shot coming out of the gate, down the ramp, big air, but Wonder Woman's head to the center, lands on the wheels, but it's too late because Jester's already over the back obstacle to the line. Wow, that truck was so fast in that green lane. Wonder Woman had problems in the center of the track, didn't make it over the back dirt mounds. Still looks great sitting up there, but let's take another look from the track cam. As the green flag flies, so does Jester coming down that ramp. Huge jump, smooth run. Wonder Woman has problems. Jester up over the back obstacle to take the win. What a race by that awesome truck. Wonder Woman sitting there on that dirt mound wondering how Jester is so fast. Because it is Jester taking the win here, moving on into the second round of racing. That truck was really flying over in that green lane. Maybe that truck's got a little extra power. But let's head back up to the gates now for the next pair. And for this one, we have a double fan favorite matchup with Gravedigger in the red lane, taking on Nitro Neon Gravedigger in the green lane. Let's go racing. Here we go, both trucks so fast coming down the ramp, but oh, Nitro Neon has problems in the first jump, goes way off into the red lane. Gravedigger up over the back obstacle and buses all the way to the line. What a smooth run by that truck, but what happened to that Nitro Neon truck off that first jump? We definitely have to take another look from the track cam and check it out. That truck went completely sideways. As the green flies, watch that bright green truck over in that green lane. I know that's a lot of greens, but check it out. Jumps off the first jump, goes completely sideways as a huge crash as Series 1 Gravedigger flies over the back obstacle to take the win. Was really hoping that first Nitro Neon truck would be moving on because, again, that is the first Nitro Neon ever released. But in this one, it's Series 1 Gravedigger taking the win, moving on into the second round. What a run from that one. What do you say we head on over to the pits and check out the trucks moving on into the second round of competition? The series number one and series number two diecast monster trucks sure have put on a great show here so far in this tournament. What a wild run. Now let's meet the trucks moving on into the second round, starting with Max D and Pirate's Curse, followed by Bounty Hunter and Son of a Digger. Then we have Monster Mutt Rottweiler taking on Jester. Followed by Megalodon taking on Gravedigger. 
We have eight trucks left here moving into the second round. Which of these trucks do you think will be moving on? Let's head up to the gates, get the races started, and find out. And up first, we have Series 1 Max D racing out of the red lane, taking on Pirate's Curse in the green lane. Let's go racing! Green flag, here we go. Wheel to wheel coming down the ramp into that first jump. Big air from both trucks, smooth landing their wheel to wheel. At the line, it is Pirate's Curse by a truck length. Wow! What a close run to start out the second round of racing. Pirate's Curse takes the win, and Max D was right there knocking on the door. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out again. As the gate drops, both these trucks want this win to move into the semi-finals. Wheel to wheel in the air, smooth landing. Pirates Curse just starts to pull away to take the win. What a run from both of those trucks. Well, viewers, that right there has got to be the best, closest run we've had here in this tournament so far today. And Pirates Curse crosses the line first to take the win, being the first truck to move into the semi-final round. What a great run from that truck. Sorry, Max D, not today. But let's head back up to the gates now for the next pair. And for this matchup, we have Bounty Hunter in the red lane, taking on Son of a Digger in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, gate drops and we're off. Son of a Digger pulling away, coming out of the gate. Huge hole shot coming down into that first jump. And look at that air from Bounty Hunter catching up on the back obstacle. Whoa, what a race at the line. It's too close to tell. We're definitely going to have to take a look at the track cam for this one because it was way too close at the line. What a run from both these trucks. Let's check this race out again. Watch this one close as the green flag flies. Son of a digger start pulling away, coming down the ramp. About a two truck lead, but Bounty Hunter has a huge jump, catching up over the obstacle and at the line it is. Bounty Hunter by about a half a wheel. Wow, what a run. Well, viewers, we thought the last race was close. That was nothing compared to this photo finish. And with this one, it's Bounty Hunter taking the win by a tire, moving into the semi-final round. What an awesome race those two trucks put on. Let's head back up to the gates and see what the next pair can do. And up next, we have two fast trucks with Monster Mutt Rottweiler in the red lane, taking on the green Jester in the green lane. Let's go racing. Gate drops and rough. Jester pulled away a little, coming down into that first jump. Look at that jump from Monster Mutt Rottweiler catching up. They're even over the back obstacle and out the line. What? Second race in a row. I think we have a photo finish as both trucks crash toward the center of the track. What is going on? What a run by both of these trucks. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out. Watch them close, Jester pulled away, coming down into that first jump. Monster Mutt Rottweiler, huge air, catching up over the back obstacle at the line it is. Jester by about a half a tire taking this win, what a race. That Monster Mutt Rottweiler truck had an extremely fast pass, almost mirroring what Jester did. But Jester was just a little bit quicker to the line and will take the win moving on into the semi-final round. What a run from both of these trucks. We've had a great second round of racing so far, so let's head back up to the gates for the next pair and see what they have in store. And for this final second round matchup, we have Megalodon racing out of the red lane, taking on Gravedigger in the green lane. Let's go racing. Here we go, wheel to wheel, coming out of the gate, down the ramp, both trucks so fast, big air from both trucks, Gravedigger has problems on the landing, starts to crash, Megalodon flips across the line for the win, wow. That was another really close race, the first half of the run, then Gravedigger started having problems on the landing, couldn't hold it and crashed. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out again. As the gate drops, both trucks so fast coming down into that ramp. But watch Gravedigger starts to nose over, has a hard landing, can't hold it, flips, and Megalodon flips across the line to take the win. What a run from these trucks. That Gravedigger had a great run here in the first round, but couldn't quite stick the landing to take the win in the second. And it's Megalodon taking the win, crossing the line first, moving on into the semi-final round of racing. What do you say we head on over to the pits and check out the four trucks that are moving on into that semi-final round? We sure hope everybody is enjoying this throwback race with Spin Master Monster Jam Series Number 1 versus Series Number 2. These tournaments will continue throughout the year, so stay tuned to see the next series. Now, as all of our viewers know, moving into the semifinals, that means 12 trucks have already been eliminated from today's tournament. These are 12 great looking Spin Master Diecast Monster Jam Monster Trucks, and we will see more of them later. But for now, let's take a look at the four moving on. We will have Pirate's Curse taking on Jester followed by Bounty Hunter taking on Megalodon. These are the four fastest trucks here so far today. Which truck do you think will move into the final round and become the champion here on the throwback tournament up there on the gold podium? Let's head up to the gates now and find out. And up first for the semifinals, we have Pirate's Curse racing out of the red lane, 
taking on Jester in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. It's a close race coming out of the gate down the ramp. These trucks are wheel to wheel coming off that jump. They're close over the back off school and at the line. What? At the line, it is too close to tell once again. These throwback trucks sure putting on a good show here today with these awesome close races. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out. As the green flag drops, both these trucks so fast coming down the ramp into that first jump. Jester just a little ahead. Pirates Curse catching up up over the back off to let the line it is. What? It's too close to tell. The sword is over the line and so is the tire. Both of these trucks were at the line at the same time. Well, I don't know what to do here. Both of these trucks look like they crossed at the same exact time. Pirate's Curse sword at the line as well as Jester's front tire at the line. What do you say we rerun this matchup? Let's get them lined up. We have Pirate's Curse racing out of the red lane, taking on Jester in the green lane. Here we go for the rerun. Green flag and we're off. Jester again coming out of the gate faster down the ramp with the powder truck lead. Pirate's Curse catching up. Jester head to the center. They get together. And oh, wow, what a big crash at the line. But it is Pirate's Curse getting to the line first to take the win. What a wild run. Both these trucks wanted it so bad they crashed to try to get the win. Wow. Let's take another look from the track cam. It's almost a mirror run. The first half of the track is the last run. Jester's ahead. Pirate's Curse catching up. Jester goes towards the center. So does Pirate's Curse. They get together and Pirate's Curse takes the win. What an extremely close battle by both of these trucks. And even after a re-race, it is Pirate's Curse taking the win. Moving on into the final round. And Jester will have to race one more time to try to secure third place in today's tournament. What a run. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. And up next for the semi-finals, we have Bounty Hunter racing out of the red lane, taking on Megalodon in the green lane. Let's go racing! Here we go, Megalodon with the little lead coming down the ramp into that first jump. Big air for both trucks, Bounty Hunter catching up and has a huge jump on the back obstacle, allowing Megalodon to get to the line first. Bounty Hunter with the big crash after the finish line, but landing back on its wheels. What a run. Let's take another look from the track cam. Coming down the ramp, both these trucks side by side, Megalodon pulling away. Bounty Hunter with a big jump catching up, but Megalodon passes for the win. What a run by both of these trucks. Another great close race here in this throwback tournament. And with that one, it's Megalodon making it to the line first, moving into the final round. And Bounty Hunter will have to race Jester one more time to try to secure third place in this tournament here today. What do you say we head on over to the pits and check out the matchups for the final round? After this extremely close racing by these final four trucks, makes you wonder what the finals will be like. And racing for third, we have Jester taking on Bounty Hunter. And for your first place matchup in the overall tournament win here today, we have Pirate's Curse taking on Megalodon. Isn't that a fitting matchup? Let's head up to the gates and get the races started. Here we go, viewers, your race for third place. Jester in the red lane, taking on Bounty Hunter in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Bounty Hunter with a whole shot coming down the ramp by about a truck length lead. Jester starting to catch up over the back obstacle. Bounty Hunter has problems. Whoa! At the line, it's another very close race. These trucks are doing incredible here in this tournament today. We're definitely going to have to take another look from the track cam to see if it was Bounty Hunter crossing first or Jester. Which truck do you think it is? Let's take a look. As the green flag flies, watch them close because it's a close race. Bounty Hunter starting to pull away. Jester catching up. Bounty Hunter goes wide and Jester does pass for the win. What a run. With another extremely close matchup and a come from behind victory. In this one, it is Jester taking the win in third place here overall in this tournament today. What a run by that awesome green Jester truck. We'll see it later on in the winner circle. But for now, what do you say we take a look at the race everybody came here to see? That's right, viewers, we have made it all the way to the final round of racing with your fastest two trucks. And for this matchup, we will have Pirate's Curse racing out of the red lane, taking on Megalodon in the green lane. Which truck will take the championship here today? Let's go racing. Green flag and we're racing. Both trucks wheel to wheel coming down the ramp into that first jump. Big air from both trucks are even up over the back obstacle and on at the line once again. It is so close. Which truck won here in this final round? Was it Pirate's Curse making it to the line first or was it Megalodon? Let's take another look from the track cam and see if we can check it out. As the gate drops, both these trucks so fast coming down the ramp. Megalodon maybe a little ahead. Pirate's Curse catching up. Smooth over the back obstacle at the line it is. Oh, it looks like Pirate's Curse, but it's still so close. We're going to have to take another look from the other angle and slow it down. Watch them close coming down the ramp. Both trucks are even up over the back obstacle. Really start to catch up right here at the line and at the line it is. 
Yes, Pirate's Curse is ahead by a bumper. What a run by that truck. What a come from behind victory to take the championship. Wow. Megalodon had a great run. Started out ahead, but Pirate's Curse caught up and passed for the win to take the championship here today. What a run by that truck, and what a final round by both of these awesome monster trucks. What do you say we head on over to the winner's circle and check them out? These two throwback series sure have put on an incredible tournament here today. They have been awesome with some fast racing and big crashes. And up on the podium, we have the fastest three trucks here in today's tournament. These trucks definitely deserve to be up there. And in third place, up on that bronze podium, we have the awesome Green Jester. And in second place up on that silver podium, bringing home the second place silver trophy, we have the awesome looking Megalodon. And your fastest truck here by a bumper today up there on that gold podium with that Monster Jam trophy. That's right, we're talking about the Pirate's Curse. This truck has been incredible here all day today with some extremely close racing and fast runs. What a great tournament that truck has put on to be able to take first place. What do you say we help all three of these trucks celebrate? <laughs> Thanks again for watching Our Time for Adventures. Until next time.